Silk is one of the most expensive fabrics widely used today. This is understandable, since the production of silk itself is very costly. For example, to produce 1 kilogram of silk, 104 kilograms of mulberry leaves must be eaten by 3,000 silkworms. This is why artificial silk or cheaper alternatives to silk with similar properties are produced. An example of this is rayon, more than 10 times cheaper than real silk. In this demonstration, cellulose is dissolved in a solution of tetraamine copper ions to produce a blue liquid. When the liquid is injected into the sulfuric acid, polymer fibers of rayon are produced. This is the actual procedure used every day by different industries to produce artificial silk. The procedure is as follows. We start the experiment by preparing a solution of cellulose. To do this, we weigh 5 grams of basic copper carbonate and add 15 milliliters of a 25 tented ammonia solution. Since the precipitate will form, we then decant the solution in the second beaker. After that, we add bits of cotton wool, slowly while stirring, until the solution becomes viscose. Stirring continues until there are no or few lumps left in the solution. Now that we have our solution of cellulose, we withdraw a few centimeter cube of this solution and we inject the stream of it under the surface of the dilute sulfuric acid solution. A thin blue ray and fiber will form. This slowly turns white as the acid neutralizes the alkaline tetraamine copper solution and destroys the complex. The first step in the demonstration is a reaction of basic copper carbonate with aqueous ammonia to form tetraamine copper ions. When the insoluble cellulose is added to this solution, it is converted to a soluble complex compound. This in turn is converted into insoluble rayon once the pH is reduced to the acidic value found in dilute sulfuric acid. Accordingly, rayon precipitates out when extruded into the acid. Copramonium rayon is usually made in fine filaments that are used in blouses, lightweight summer dresses and in combination with cotton for textured fabrics. The copramonium process duplicated in this activity is one of the earliest methods used for producing rayon. The end product in our reaction actually forms a complex compound known as Schweizer-Tvergant or tetraamine diaqua copper dihydroxide. Its application was discovered in 1857 by a Swiss chemist known as Matthias Edward Schweizer. He got the idea for the process not directly, but through the results of a paper he published, where he reported that cotton, linen cellulose, and silk could all be dissolved in this reagent. One of the most interesting applications of this is in the production of cuprophane, a synthetic cellulose membrane used in dialyzers, helping and saving people's lives.